Hey, what's going on family? Michael Cabradia right here in San Diego, California. Welcome back. We have been reading through this book right here, The 100 Simple Secrets of Happy People. And why not, right? So we've been reading through this, reading each chapter, uh, you know, one chapter per video. And the chapters are less than two pages long. We've been reading through the chapter, sharing some insight, sharing some notes, sharing comments, sharing questions an insight on what we think as we're reading this, right? And so chapter number 45, enjoy what you have. People who are satisfied appreciate what they have in life and they don't worry about how it compares to what others have. Valuing what you have over what you do not or cannot have leads to greater happiness. Four-year-old Alice runs to the Christmas tree and she, she sees wonderful presents beneath it. No doubt she has received fewer presents than some of her friends and probably she has not received some things that she most wanted. But at the moment, she doesn't stop to think why aren't there more presents or to wonder what she may have asked for that she didn't get, but instead she marvels at the treasures before her. When we think about our, our lives, we too often think about what we don't have and what we didn't get, but such a focus denies us pleasure. You wouldn't sit next to the Christmas tree and remind Alice that there were presents she didn't receive. Why remind yourself of the things in life that you don't have when you could remind yourself of what you do have? People who have the most are only as likely to be happy as those who have the least. People who like what they have, however, are twice as likely to be happy as those who actually have the most. This is really awesome, right? I, I don't know what your thoughts are. Feel free to comment below what your thoughts are. But one of the things I think about is I think about my mornings, right? So this doesn't happen every single morning, but I do my best. So wake up in the morning, and sometimes it's uh, you in a hurried rush because I have things to do. I gotta prepare for the kids, uh, you know, for uh, dropping them off at school and things like that. But I try to take a moment, in a lot of cases, reclose my eyes, and I just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this home. Thank you for a place to sleep, a place to stay warm. Thank you for my beautiful wife. Thank you so much for our kids. And I take a moment of gratitude and just be thankful for what we have. Because it's really easy sometimes, you know, especially even with the advent of, uh, of social media, to really scroll through social media and compare ourselves. We can see people taking trips we can see people getting new cars, new homes, new toys, um, or re having relationships that we wish we were a part of. And it can automatically turn into envy. It can automatically turn into, you know, even self-defeating thoughts. Someone has this, I wish I had that. Someone has done that or accomplished that, I wanna accomplish that too. And um, I've fallen victim to that. And I've had to catch myself sometimes and just pause and just be thankful for what it is that we do have in pursuit of what we want potentially, but just being grateful and having gratitude for where we're at currently right now. And just thanking God because God always has a bigger plan, right? I also think of uh, a mission trip uh, that I took with one of my best friends and a few others uh, into a third world country by comparison. And I really don't want to assume that you watching this uh, are either not part of a third world country or that you understand the privilege that many of us have living in the places that we live. And it's interesting because I always look back at that trip when I hear 
my daughter complain about something or maybe she doesn't want to eat the food that we put on her plate and I think of the lack that some people have across the world and in my head honestly I think how dare us how dare us complain about our current situation when there are so many more people out there who have less than we do. And honestly, that is something that I think about often. And I think taking that particular trip and not necessarily just having a localized perspective, but having a different global perspective. And I don't know everything. I never claim that, right? But just having seen different things and understanding how much we have and how much abundance we have regardless of what our situation is and being grateful for that. That's what I think of as we're reading this. My wish for you is to be grateful for everything that we have. I pray and hope that you find everything you're looking for while being grateful for what we have right now. So put the comments in the comments below. That was uh, chapter number 45. We will see you on the next video chapter number 46. Thank you for tuning in. Take care. God bless you.